say very quiet and chilly Monday morning. Temperatures right now in the upper 20s here. And as we look at temperatures across the country, overall pretty seasonable December morning. 31 in Chicago, 24 in Minneapolis, and 11 in Bismarck. And I know that looks cold, but that's pretty close to normal for them this time of the year. We see temperatures down to the south. Uh, there's Orlando sticking out there, uh, showing off there with that temperature near 70. But the rest of us dealing with that December chill this morning as we take a look at the current conditions in Lima, 29, and the wind out of the southwest at 7 miles per hour. So a bit of a wind chill right now. It feels like 22 degrees outside, so make sure you grab the heavy coat this morning. And the ice scraper might be needed as well for your cars. We have a little bit of frost out there, but again, overall, a really good looking forecast for us today. We're not concerned about the weather. No um, active weather on the way. Not a lot of wind. Not any big systems coming our way the next few days. You can see this morning we're quiet. High pressure down to our southeast. And we look at the wind flow here. It's coming out of the south and southwest. And that's a good thing. That means we're going to warm up a little bit as we head into this afternoon. Warmer temperatures are expected than what you saw during the day on Sunday. So looking at your day planner. Again, grab the sunglasses today. This is nice. You know, December is a very cloudy month, and we're going to enjoy that sunshine. Every day of sunshine we get is always nice to see this time of year. 37 by noon, and you can see we're already up to 40 by about 4 o'clock. And we'll peak around 40 to the low 40s in most locations today, and just a little bit on the breezy side this afternoon. All right, so I know the question is, and I think you know the answer to this already. Are we going to see a white Christmas? And the answer is no. We're very confident on that here. That's the forecast model showing the forecast snow on the ground for Christmas morning. And you notice you have to go way up to the north. There's going to be a, a northern storm track this week near the Canadian border, and that will bring snow to those areas. You have to go up into northern Michigan, the UP, and you notice there around Bangor, Maine, up there, they're going to see a lot of snow on the ground. But for a good part of the country, we're going to see a, really just a, a brown ground for Christmas this year, unfortunately. So I know the snow lover's not too happy about that. All right, so we're looking at a fairly quiet weather pattern this week. We'll have a weak cold front come in Tuesday night, and it will bring a bit of a, a drop in temperatures for midweek. That's not going to last long, though. We're going to see another rebound in temperatures heading towards Christmas Eve. Just before uh, Christmas, we'll see another jump in those temperatures. You notice today in the low 40s. As we head into tomorrow, we're back pretty much where we are today. But you notice the influence of that cold front on Wednesday. We're going to see a cooler day with highs back into the 30s across the area. It won't last too long. We're going to warm things up pretty nicely heading towards Christmas Eve. So for today, we'll see a high 41, mostly sunny skies. That southwest wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. As we look at your forecast tonight, we'll see a low of 26. So another chilly night, and we could have some patchy fog in a few spots late. So we'll keep an eye on that early tomorrow. I don't think it's a widespread issue. And then tomorrow, we'll see a high of 43, partly sunny skies. going to be a pretty nice day for us on Tuesdays. We'll look at your extended forecast. And breaking things down for you, we'll see winter officially arrive tomorrow, actually at 1059 in the morning. So again, in the northern hemisphere, it's winter. In the southern hemisphere, it starts to be summer. So to a Wednesday, we'll see a cooler day, 33, partly cloudy, 30 or 43, I should say, on Thursday. And we're dry until then. It looks like Friday will have a chance of showers for Christmas Eve. So keep that in mind. We'll see a warmer day at 55. And then we'll see a cold front come in Christmas uh, Eve night. And as we head into Christmas Day, we dry out. So for Christmas Day, we'll see some sunshine, 44, a little bit on the breezy side. And it looks like as we head into Sunday, we're still dry. And even though we cooled down behind that front, we're still looking at temperatures for the most part well above the seasonal average in the mid-30s as we head throughout the next seven days.